the more I look at the way things are organized over here in my grid, I'm starting to think that I may have made a mistake creating a first paragraph div as opposed to just making a first paragraph class and have that first paragraph nested within uh, article content. Now, I guess this is this is kind of a unique situation, right? Because first paragraph is unique because it's the very first paragraph of the page. So from that perspective, it qualifies it to be an ID uh, selector. But I don't know. Semantically, to me, it just I just feel that a class would be more appropriate. So in order to do this, I have to dive into my code. So let me. So the first thing I'm going to do is just take that out. I just cut that out and I'm going to paste it in here. All right. And so that's good. I'm going to save it. Now the next thing is I'm going to erase first paragraph altogether, the actual div. And that should. All right. Now it's erased um, from my style. And now let me go in here. Let's see where we had first paragraph. Okay, first paragraph now is gone. Okay, good. So I'll save it. I'll save both of them. And now when I preview it, okay, everything is good. So now I want to create a class for this thing. And I want this class to only affect the paragraph text that is within the article content. So what can I do? So okay, so I'm going to I'm going to have this selected and right here in my property inspector I could attach a well, what do we do if we rename it? No, there's no class defined. Okay. I am just going to do it the way I know how to do it. And if I go to my CSS style let me go down to where I have article content. Okay, so we have article content, and there's nothing there for it. So I'm just going to copy it, paste it here. And the way it works, if I want to, it's kind of like a descendant selector, right? But what I'm going to do now is I know that if I put just a P afterwards, it's going to affect any paragraph element that's within the uh, ID the div container article content but since I want to create a class I'm going to do P then period um, first paragraph as you notice I like to use camel case this is what they call it because it's all one it's I have no spaces or no dashes in between these two words and I put them together and visually so I could separate them from myself I make the second word um, capitalized and they refer to that as camel case. Okay, so I'll save that. Now when I go back here, over here my properties inspector, I should have first paragraph style available, and I do. Okay, now that didn't do anything, right? Because, well, there's nothing for it to do because I didn't define anything. So if I go here and I see my... my uh, the ID that I just created, the class ID I just created, or the class selector, excuse me, I'll just create a new style for it, or no shoot, since I already did that, I mean, just double click on it so I get to this, and what I basically wanted was to have the first paragraph kind of pushed to the right, so I'm saying I'm going to add some left hand padding to it, um, let's see, box, so that, uh, bear with me, Sometimes it's hard to think and talk at the same time. So I'm going to set it to 3M. So, okay, I push that over, and now I'm going to save it. Essentially, I'm trying to recreate this effect, right? Because I know I'm going to have some kind of graphic over here, and I don't want it to interfere with the, um, with the text. So that's kind of, kind of what I'm getting ready for. Okay, pretty good. You know, that's all right. You know, I thought that having this thing as its own div would be a good idea but then I said it's not so you know what 
vamos, it goes, and that's just the end of it. I don't have to worry about it. Um, I could delete that, and I just bring that right here. And now, this is essentially what my page is looking like.